in this video we'll see what is the uh, encoder and decoder palette functions for this we are going to design the new iflow First, I will go with the simulator function. Then uh, I will uh, use the uh, FTP adapter to send the data to the FTP server. So first, I will be showing uh, how the encoder works. So basically, we have an base64 encoder which would uh, uh, format our, uh, our data to a base64 format you can see so this is a base64 encoder a normal text would be formatted to base64 so i'm using the simulator so So this is a uh, normal uh, uh, text. So now we will be converting it to it to base list for not using the encoder. You can see the message is successful and you can see the message. So this is an encoded message. Okay. So we'll be using the third party application to check whether uh, our encoded message, what it has been by decoding it. And you, could, you can see the message, what uh, is the message I have provided that has been is the same. So this is how the encoder palette function works. Similarly, we have an palette function called decoder you see that so basics for decoder so this is a basic for now uh, what does it do it will convert the base 64 format to the normal text so i am taking here first to encode So this is an encoded uh, base64 format. Now I am going to pass this in the simulator. You will see it how it would decode this text. So I am passing the base64 uh, text and it should be giving us the normal text you can see this is what we have been encoded okay so in this uh, decoder and encoder, we have other uh, functionalities like zip compression, mm, im multipart encoder, zip compression, gzip. Okay, we'll see this with uh, the FTP adapter. Uh, we cannot see in the simulator since it would generate a zip file. So here we are going to use the FTP. So we have some public. Uh, FTPs you can use uh, any one of them okay so I'm using FTPC now okay we'll see how the configuration to be done and uh, how the message so for that one I'm using the 
content modifier okay for the static message So I'm using the timer whenever we click on the deployment so at that time it will trigger the message so this is the message what I'm going to do I'm going to zip it okay. for that one we'll use a zip compression so this file I'm sending it to FTP server using the FTP adapter. Okay, so before configuration this FTP, you can uh, check the connectivity between the CPU and server is happening or not. For that one, we have an option in the monitor connectivity test. Go for FTP tab and check the connectivity. this p and plane one so connection has been successful now we can uh, go for the configuration okay. since i'm using the zip it is a dip i'm adding the timestamp now we need to add the address so uh, what is the address we have already registered it you can take from here with the port number we need to add and the configuration remains same port we have tested there okay so this is a uh, one Okay, save and deploy. Now we will see whether it is successful or failure. We'll check why it is failing. Uh, we'll connect this uh, server uh, to see the path okay, using the FileZilla. So this is the file. Uh, I think we don't have permission in this one. We'll take this folder and we'll try to configure it here.
see now it has been successful and uh, the message we can see that in the filezilla application so i'm referring it here you can see this is the one Okay, here you can see the file is zip file. Okay, so this is how the encoder zip uh, uh, compression takes place. It will uh, normal file, it will zip it. Okay, normal payload. Now we will see the decompression. Uh, G zip compression. So I'll be removing this one. I will add here G zip compression. And save and deploy. It has been successful. Now we'll see the file has been delivered here. Refresh it. Here you can see the file has been generated. Since the path I have given a zip, it has been given the zip, the prefix. Now we'll see the change here. You can see this option, uh, the checkbox uh, append timestamp. So whenever the file is generated, it will uh, append the new timestamp. Okay. You can see the appended here. This Z zip. Okay. This is a Z zip and this is a zip. Okay. This is how the encoder functionality works.